The way people move in cities has changed drastically over the past few years. Have policymakers kept up with that change? Let's put it this way, in, uh, in the European Union they haven't really. Um, the process is to open up uh, the markets for startups, to bring more flexibility, to uh, test certain new products in, uh, in the European Union is, is highly limited as we know. Uh, so unfortunately startups are now looking more into Southeast Asia and Latin America to test their products. So unfortunately, no. Um, policymakers haven't really uh, made their homework yet. How important are startups for innovation in traditional industries like transport? They're extremely important because traditional industries have obviously their own uh, research and development departments, but they would never cannibalize themselves. They would never. They will always develop, but they will never evolutionize. So um, startups are fundamentally important to disrupt, to come up with new innovations that don't fit the current business model, maybe, and that question the current business model. So it's extremely important for any any industry to have a healthy startup system to constantly improve products and business models. And so what sort of challenges do you face when working together with large companies? That's a wonderful question. Uh, number one, finding the right person. I'm just saying take a big OEM, a big corporate, who's the right person to talk to? That's a typical big challenge for a startup that are not good in business development. Number two, when you get to the point that you want to make a deal, you get referred to the buying department, which as we know in large OEMs is quite a challenge when you suddenly talk to a buyer and he wants to really kind of pull you down, push you down as much as possible. Uh, and, and thirdly, the pace of working is very different. Um, for let's say Volkswagen, uh, doing something in three months uh, to an end is not something they are usually working uh, in terms of uh, their speed. For us, three months is a lifetime. So speed is a, is a very different factor in incorporating startups and, and OEMs. How useful is it for you to be here at the International Transport Forum and be discussing these issues? Very useful. We have the opportunity, since we're invited by the German Ministry of Transport, to number one, showcase what our vision of the future of urban mobility is. Number two, what we do today already in order to get to that vision and thirdly to talk to policymakers, to talk to regulators, to make them aware of how we see the futures, to share the images and get their feedback also on what's possible, on what kind of a time frame, what can we expect and what cannot we expect.